Hi guys, so we're carrying on with this beautiful hairstyle. Um, what's it called again, Maga? Messy Goddess Braids. Yay! I wanted our client to tell you, Messy Goddess Braids. Now you know, you know, young people they love being really hip. So this is it. So it's braids, Goddess Braids, and with strands of wavy hair in between. Again, you know us, our brand, Bundles of Joy. This is where all of this comes from. Whatever texture you're looking for, we have them. And our pre-braided or pre-tipped hair, ready for braiding. Now this particular one is a mixture of 6 and 1B. You know how great we are with mixing colors. We really love mixing colors. Because then it makes you very unique and different. So, I'll show you how this is done. We've done a few strands. Again, we're mixing colors. There's a color, color, color four is this lighter one. And then the darker one is color 1B. So, we're mixing both. So, what you're seeing is different colors of hair. Now, our sectioning, we're playing around with the triangle look. So, you see how that's going. So I'll put one in for you to see what we've done. So you know what goddess braids is all about. It's just the chunky strands of hair that you put in. And so again, just put it in like you normally would do with your installation. Extension is. You, you could also work with square strands or square sectioning, whichever one makes you happy. So your hair is in. Now this messy bohemian or goddess braids, it's a bit like what I used to call tree braid plaits. The only difference is you're just using a completely different texture of hair from the original one you started with. So you get your strand of braid and you put it in. It's just going to cross. Then when you're braiding it, you let go of that strand you put across. But that's my way of doing it. See that? So it's not showing. Now, some people actually leave it across a bit like what you would do with Ghana Con Roll. I wouldn't encourage that. I really won't like that. That's me. I don't like that. But that's it. See that? It's standing out. So then you carry on with your braiding. And as you're carrying on with your braiding, you could also take the other strand you had in with you. What I do, I take it with me for some time. I braid it with me for some time so you see it's still here then I could not decide to drop it off at that stage because if I dropped it immediately it would pull so you are like to braid a little see that so it's sitting nicely and that one's sitting nicely there so this is where creativity comes in in everything we do you decide how you want to play with this but this is just saying a different texture of hair inserted into your braid that's what it is and so if you wanted it to be fuller we don't want it too full that's why we're putting just one one strand in so one strand's gone in and that's it we started by putting a bit more we realized it was getting too full because again it's up to you if you want your braids to show we want the braids to show So our client has natural hair, our model natural hair. So you remember to keep pushing and tightening your braid. I notice some people use a lot of gel when they work with natural hair. You don't need to do that. You can just tighten it. See that? So as you're going along, the next stage for this bohemian messy braid is get your 
different texture extension again and this time insert it in and braid it off so it's part of your braiding now you haven't dropped it off see that now the reason for that is we finish each strand with the different texture the wavy bit so that's why we need it so this is what's going to finish off the braiding it's not the strip you're finishing off again you remember to just hold it firmly in your braids so guys this is the latest hairstyle for young people you know how creative they can get i really love their creativity so you can add this to your business um get good textured hair there's so many different types but ours come again in different textures um, some of the curls are really tight curls and some are really loose curls so it depends on what you're looking for keep braiding and braiding until you get to the end of the hair strand Cut. okay so you get to the tip now that's what you got and then you take a little bit and then you knot it off so again, when you remember knotting in braids, this is where it comes in very handy. So you knot the first time, you open that little one and you take it through each other and knot it off. And that's it. All finished. Now you see some people go through the trouble of trying to take out the little bit of the straight one. You don't need to because depending on the type of wavy hair you have, some of them just blend in nicely like this one and if it was like really tight curls then you could think about that but for us there's no need for that and so that's it so you see the the wavy hairs a bit at the back while the braids are over it okay so you can see how much hair we've done and then um, I just want to show you another insertion. I'm putting the wavy hair in. So her wavy hair comes in. Now I'm going to show you the other way that some people try to do it. So the hair comes and it goes straight in. That's it. Gone in. And just like your Ghana Conroe, if you were doing that, you just carry on. So you see how that hair has gone across. And then you carry on. You carry on. So it's now inserted in to be part of the braid. So at any point in time, you drop off the one that you actually want to drop off. So we want to drop this off. Um, you naturally need a clip to hold it down if you need to. And then you carry on. I still have a strand in my hand on the other side so I carry on braiding and then I'm going to now drop that strand as well and then I carry on with my braiding you can remember when you're working with natural hair you want the brace to cover the extension I mean the brace to cover the natural hair so you keep making sure the extension is more than the natural hair so sometimes if the strands are put in starts to get smaller I just take from the other side And her hair is very close to the extension color wise so you have to be very conscious you also have textures that are very see that her texture is a bit like the extension as well so you have to remember which is which 
كده نزع هيا تاني هتبقوا شايفين وبعدين يبقوا شايفين so her hair is finished so now we're going to add the one that finishes the strand the tip of the strand so again you put your hair in at this stage i definitely don't want this to show across so i'm going to just take it in and then i braid and then this now becomes part of the strand of hair for braiding because we're only using it to finish the tips. Top and then and then cut the straight hair off, but it's up to you if you want to do that. Because if you find it's getting too long, you may want to do that. So now the straight hair is kind of like gone in, so this is where I knot it. Okay, so we're nearly done. You can see this is our last strand. So we're going to finish this and then it's done. So again, we mix the colors. There's some plain black here mixed here. And then this is also mixed. So I've taken the strand in my hand and then braid it in, hold it in, lift the other side up because I don't like it crossing that's why I lift it so it's not showing and then I carry on with my braiding and braid so this is just the one call it like a branch this is the one side of the strand and this is the other side so I still braid that in a bit more so it stabilizes because if not, what will happen is it will start pulling. And as I'm braiding, again, I take some hair and add to wherever it's getting smaller. This is just the regular braiding part. Yes. So now I'm happy to drop off my second strand. And again, you try and just push it to where you want it to be. I want it on the side. So that's here now. And then I carry on my braiding. So this is just like three braid flats if you ever did try that. Uh, if not, this is what we're doing. Just put the hair in, take out some strands and that's it. But the beauty of the messy bohemian Box braids, if you want to call it that, or goddess braids, is it doesn't have to be the same texture of hair, it has to be just something different. So, any texture will do, any other texture will do. But in this case, we're going with wavy hair. So, we pushed all the natural hair in. Now, we want to finish the tips with the wavy hair still. So wavy hair will finish the tips and you insert it from a distance, especially when the hair is long. You want it to be longer than the hair you're adding in or the braided hair you're working with. So in this case, I definitely push it in so it blends in nicely. Now you can see me braiding it off. And that's what I completely braid off until I get to the end when the straight hair is nearly done. Then I knot it. 
so we're gonna end here thank you so much for watching you're gonna see our model show it off in pictures we'll show you the pictures um and remember to like our video if you like it thumbs up remember to share it with your friends if you want them to get to know how this is done all the extensions we use are our brands so you can always order yours we'll put the link again in the description box um our breads our, our extensions for braiding are always pre-ready all you do is tell us the length you're looking for and we'll get it there for you um we also make a big deal of mixing colors so if you're into colors we are quite good at that so we create the colors to suit you unique colors made to order colors in braiding so all of those are here with us bundles of joy so see that it's finished off and then we knot it so once you've knotted then you take the little bit and you knot it again so remember the texture of the curl the hair will be what you choose could be really bold texture it could be um tight cut texture loose texture and that's that and here goes the hair that you added in so again clients love to see the braided parts hanging out more than the than the loose hair over it see that Remember we mixed colors, we mixed brown and black. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do now is just look at the full length of the hair. And then I'll just trim, trim away any parts that's, that's just craggy. Just give it a nice smooth trim. And care for this hair it's just make sure you're not um, spraying anything into this hair lots of people have this habit of spraying things into their hair you don't need any sprays if you must spray braided hair just spray your scalp not the hair extension it does not need any products all you do is just finger comb it just kind of like pull your hands through and if you find any part is knotted you just release that part and that's it that's it all done so we hope you loved it and you're gonna try this out so try it out we like to see your pictures as always just see how it's going for you um remember to share it like it and the volume you create is down to you so we didn't want too much volume in this hair so you could have added more wavy hair if you wanted too voluminous but again don't forget that the whole beauty of this is to show your braids so thank you again and we'll see you in the next video